Welcome to Kelton Tech Solutions at MuleSoft Connect 2017. In this short video demonstration, we are going to explore the capabilities of MuleSoft API Manager in brief and demonstrate an example while exploring some of these capabilities. Using MuleSoft's API Manager, we can perform all the API lifecycle actions such as setting up of API, design the RAML, simulate the calls to the API without having to build it, set up the API proxy, create a new API version, import or export API definitions, create API portals, publish the APIs to the portal, and so on, etc. We can also perform the API governance activities such as publishing, <clears throat> applying the policies and SLA tiers, managing those policies and SLA tiers, granting permissions and roles, API version management, etc. Let us explore these capabilities further by demonstrating the bank payment process API example. To do that, let us connect to the MuleSoft's API manager. I am in the API manager bank payment process version 1.0 API. API manager is a MuleSoft component which is useful to perform the API lifecycle actions discussed just now. This can be hosted on a public cloud such as Cloud Hub, Private Cloud or on Hybrid Cloud as well. On this page we see the bank payment process API version 1.0. We can export the API definition using this export option and we can deprecate or delete the existing versions, update the terms and conditions such as mentioning that a particular version would be deprecated from a future date. Now, <clears throat> let's go to the API definition of this bank payment process version 1.0. To do that, I clicked on edit in API designer. This screen is the API designer page on which on the left side, we can see the corresponding RAML definition the RESTful application markup language or the modeling language. <clears throat> On the right side of it, we can see the preview of the APIs. In the type section, we can see all the lists of types defined in this API. And in the resources section, we can see the resources on which this API operates upon. The API can be tested from the API designer itself as well as from the API portal. Any sub APIs that you are invoking as part of this API can be mentioned in the trade section as indicated here. Let's go to the bank payment process 1.0 and API portal. We can create a new API portal or <clears throat> you can make use of the existing portal in this case, which is Calton Tech Solutions. When you click on edit portal, the edit portal lets us mark the uh, API portal to either private or public. A public portal is something which is available for other users to see across the internet. Right now it's made private and you can have your own themes defined such as customizing. For example, in this case we have in included the Kelton Tech Company's logo in this API portal. <clears throat> when this is done, we can click on the live portal so that it, has, it will route us to the Kelton Tech Solutions API portal on which we can directly simulate the bank payment process API. We can see the types and resources just like how we saw in the API designer. Now let's try to simulate this API. I would like to see uh, <clears throat> the user's API on which get method is allowed so I'll click on get so it describes what this uh, API does and how it accepts the input so let me try it out by clicking on the try it option so I'm going to get click on get and it has resulted me in status 200 which is a success case and the corresponding success output is as shown below now let me copy this ID and then <clears throat> 
excuse me. And then run the next API, get the user with the ID as the one that we just copied now. Let's click on try it in the ID section, paste the ID that we copied in the previous step and click on get. I'm expecting it to result the 200 as well and it did and this is the body of it. Similarly, we can perform the same actions on the account resources as well. <clears throat> on the left hand side in the API manager for this bank payment process API, we can see the applications, permissions, policies and SLA tiers and settings options. So using these options, we can set the policies. Policies are something which allow us to manage the security, the quality of service and compliance for the API version. The SLA tiers are something which are uh, uh, which can be configured to manage the traffic to the API version. For example, for the API monetization purposes, we can create the uh, SLA tiers accordingly. This is a brief video on the API manager capabilities. Thank you.